Generic greetings and welcome back to another brick in the mall. In the previous episode we started construction on said mall and we got a fair bit done. Most of it being roads to be completely fair but as you can see we've got a small little convenience store at the front with some storage and then added uh, workshop type area, the maintenance centre I think it's called. Also we have garbage because a lot of rats piling up which is not a good thing. Obviously some parking as well as this store on the left which a lot of people have already said uh, the parking isn't big enough. Yes, you're, you're probably right. So I think I'll actually put parking down the left-hand side here, but we'll get onto that later on. What we want to do in this episode is get this all this sorted, but also... We need to go over to building, and uh, we need to put a bus stop in. Now, I've never actually made a bus stop, but it's 10 grand, and you can place it somewhere. Now, I don't really know where to put this thing. It's really going to depend on where these other roads are going to be. Now, I think I'm going to put the... Um, I think I'm going to put the bus stop about here because there's going to be a road that comes down like so and I'll just preemptively plan that and what will happen is the bus stop will get placed and then well maybe it'll work there's a bus stop oh yeah it actually comes along and as you can see we uh we have people well not getting on and off because there's no store open so naturally they're not going to uh, jump off and go yay it's oh, oh it's um it's nine o'clock at night there's nobody here it's all closed oh well anyway so we'll uh, let this crack on and oh we've already got a little bit of a glitch here look at that see that there it's not it's not going round properly what a shame Oh well. Uh, we need to probably then go ahead and put some more parking in. So we'll go to build and then customer parking and we'll do that. And I think we'll have it on both sides. Again, not going to go any further because the road will be splitting off like that. Maybe. We might do that, we might not. But I just, I've just put that there just to show you what we might plan on, well, the plan is roughly. So over to building and then to foundation. Actually, no, the foundations will be walls. We'll put our wall in here for the extra storage. So I I think this will go along like so and we'll build it to about there maybe because in the center obviously we do need to go to objects and then to a staff door which I will find eventually there we are and this will be our storage this will be a shop probably too small actually now that I look at it but we'll see how it goes so this is going to be I think our food shelf although do we have cold storage yet that's a question uh, we are we do have cold chains so we can actually put uh, cold things in here we haven't uh, checked the let me just pause it a second there's a bus actually, look. Yay. It looks like the play bus. <laughs> There's the play bus. Where does it go? Uh, yeah, that, that's a, a reference that not many people will get at all. Uh, right, so we'll go for needs. And you can see we do have certain needs now. So fast food, bowling, all of this sort of thing. And then we have a like a delivery of said food or a, a supply and demand so we've got the demand and we've got our supply supply in blue so there's a lot uh, of uh, a demand for soda and some supply on tier one but we also have tier two you can see there's some demand for that and the way to get that is sell in store with over 50 percent of beverages to satisfy this demand that's what we need to do for that one so beer wine canned food it looks like uh that's going to be difficult then how are you going to supply like level two milk in a store with over 50 percent of food or of food to satisfy right that's okay you don't need 50 percent of milk because that would just be intolerable so what i'm going to do is get our checkout counters put in so we're gonna have a checkout counter ah this is a difficult thing i was going to i was originally planning on my my lines going along that way but i think it's best to have it this way so one two three i don't think we need another one but there's always room for it if we need it and it only costs a grand so i'm just going to do it anyway so there's that all put in we will have um do we have where's our cold storage is it just under it's just a fridge, isn't it? So we've got fridges, which... Oh, the model's completely different. Originally, the model was uh, the other way around. It was like a, a side-opening one rather than this one. Okay, okay. I think we'll put that at the back, this this side, to be honest with you. Um, so we need to go to food shelf. This, like you say, is going to be a food store. So we'll put food in like so. And Oh, actually, what we'll do... We'll leave at least a gap of one at the back like that so they can get around the store because otherwise they would uh, be 
fairly trapped and I don't want that. It's not theme park or whatever where you used to be able to uh, trap customers in. So we'll do that I think is probably enough although we'll have some more shelving go along. We might have a couple of standard shelving units or do we just want to go for fridges? I think we'll go for just fridges you know like that. It's going to be a fairly big food store and it's cost us probably a bit of money there. We'll go to a sign and store and obviously all this will become a store like so and then we'll have storage as placed. Manage Store zero, zone, we'll unpause it while they crack on with that one. This is going to be the uh, um, food art, mm, what shall we call it? What shall we call it? Um, hmm, I'm trying to think of like an exotic name. Hungaro McFixo. No, no, that would be just absolutely silly. Uh, but let's just name it. The, the, no, it doesn't have a name. It's so cool, it doesn't have a name. I'm sure that's a joke off a TV show. It just has a squiggle for its name. It's like Prince, the artist, for, the artist formerly known as. Um, I think we'll just have it uh, Food Mart. Are we going for Mini Mart, Food Mart? Are we going to go something Mart? I think that's the way it works. I don't even know why the Mart. Is it market? No, it can't be. The bazaar? No. No, I, I don't really know. I don't really care much, to be quite honest with you, either. So, we'll have this as G Store... Um... G Storage 2. Uh, having it G Store... G Store is, um... Annoying. Um... And we should really rename this one, so this should be... Uh, sadly, you can't click. It's Mini Mart Storage. That's Mini Mart Storage. This one is Food Mart Storage. That makes a lot more sense, doesn't it? Okay, so we'll go to our Food Mart Sign Storage, that one. There you go. Opening at 9, uh, closing at 8, so full, uh, full, however many hours. How many hours is it? It's, uh, 8 hours, surely. What I will do. While I'm on manage, he's got the mini mart and we'll open it at 8. 8 till 5 with a 9 hour run. And our work will have a 10 hour shift on them here. You can see when our peak sales are, which is, I don't know if that's new, but that is very, very good anyway. I like that a lot. Cashier. Uh, start at 7 technically because of how we want this. Uh, the stock will start at 7 and you can work 10 as well. The, the salary goes up as far as I can tell. Um, they have they have a status of satisfaction, hunger and things like that. But remember these aren't... These aren't... Um, customers, these are staff. So it doesn't really follow that round. Eventually I'm assuming that's going to... Um, get fixed because you can actually have it so I believe staff just work constantly and they don't tire out which is something that will get fixed eventually. So we'll go over to building and we'll have a double door and we might have a double door. We could have it right in the center if we wanted it like that but I think we'll have it um, I'm assuming one, two. Um, that was stupid so there no one two one two One, two, one, two. And then here is no. One, two, one, two. And that is right in the center. So you've got really big double doors right in the front. That's actually not too bad. Okay. So. Oh, yeah, that's okay, that. I like that. That's quite nice. So. Let's get on with the cold store, and we'll have. Uh, you've got beverages, you've got uh, foods. So we'll have milk. Uh, no, no, no. We won't have it there. We'll have in this one uh, fresh fish. Fresh fish, and meat, meat, and then meat, and then we'll have dairy, which will be like cheeses and things like that, and then your milk. And you always put milk at the back of the store, same as any any bread or other perishables. I've mentioned it before, but I'll say it again. The reason they have it right at the back of the store and things like that is because they know that the, the, the items with the most turnover, people will go... They'll come in for those, obviously. 
Um, it's not like light bulbs at the back of the store. Um, they're not going to... They're not going to... Um, is that wrong? That looks really wrong. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. That is wrong. I'm going to have to dismantle those. Uh, yeah, so the stuff that people are going to come in for a lot of, they're not going to put right at the front because they want you to go to the back of the store to check everything out. So you'll walk to the back of the store to get milk or bread, and then while you're doing that, you'll go, oh, oh I needed I, I needed uh, a tin of tuna or something like that. And it'll remind you because you're walking through all of these things, which is, um, you know, I don't know whether you would call it a trick or whatever, but it's, uh, it is what it is. So go over to walls, finish that off. Ooh, cancel that bit. Uh, finish these walls off here. Objects. Double door. Um... There. And there. Is that right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. When I counted from the other side, it just didn't work. Okay, so. Let us get other stuff in here. So we've got um, snacks, cookies, sauces and seasoning. Um, I think we'll go for the bread at this side here. So we'll go for... Um, where is it? Sliced bread. This will be our... This will just be bread aisle, to be honest with you. And then on this one, we've got all the beverages and stuff. Candies, breakfast cereal, snacks, cookies, bread, sauce and seasoning, rice and pasta. I think probably the closest to that one will be breakfast cereal. We'll have a couple of breakfast cereals. Uh, we might change these eventually, but we'll see. And then we'll have perhaps... Mm, I'll go back to that one. We'll have... Actually, I know what we'll have. If it's on sort of breakfast type thing, you'd want juices in the morning. I think that makes sense, yeah. So you've got maybe like some orange juice as well as your other cereals and such. That makes sense. Uh, the next one, we'll have candies. We'll have uh, cookies... We'll have snacks like crisps and things like that, which um, I'm a fan of them. Chips, I think uh, they're called elsewhere. Uh, sauces and seasoning and rice and pasta we'll have along here. This one will be pet food, I think. I'll have a pet food one. Even though it doesn't... Mm, I don't know. Is pet food... Is it classed as... Well, it should be classed as food, but you could also probably class it... I'm going on all the wrong tabs here. That was one. Uh, you could probably class it as, I don't know, something else. It is food for pets, but is it is there not a specific store for it? We'll just check. So uh, it'll be. I'll go for filtering the food. And pet food is there. Yes, pet food is classed as a food, unsurprisingly. So we'll have this all as pet food. And then this one will have uh, sauces and seasoning, sauces and seasoning, sauces and seasoning, as well as rice and pasta. There we go. So we've also got another um, another research done, which is now alcohol license. I'm going to go over to clothing supplier. I don't really want another... I don't want more alcohol or anything like that. I think we'll go over to manage. Our food mart. Higher stock. And that person's really good at everything, actually. So hire cashier, you. Hire cashier, um, you. Hire cashier. Cancel. Stock clerk, you. Hire cashier, you. And that should be us done. So, pause it for a second. The shop will open at 8, finish at... Uh, we could have go for a 10-hour day. Mm, you're best off actually going for probably an eight. <sighs> Let's work it out. You could do, and I have done it previously. I've done, I've done it as three shifts. So it's a three shift system, eight hours for each worker, open 24 hours. So it's eight, 16, 24. You could do it 12 hours, so you got a 12 hour shift, then another 12 hour shift, that's a two shift system. Never tried a one shift system in this game where they're constantly working because um, even though there's no uh, work laws and other unions in this game, I don't think it really fits the game that well. Uh, so we're probably not going to do that. Uh, what we do need to do is, whatever I do here, 
we will be changing it, right? Because when we get 24 hours, we'll have the whole thing open at any time. So whatever we do here, we know we're going to have to change it, so I'm not going to fuss about too much. So we'll go to the Mini Mart. It was, and look at that, it's actually made 3% profit. Yes! Um, it is open uh, 8 till 7, 9 hours. Okay, so 8 till... Uh, 1700 so that is five o'clock so we will go for food mart so the same sort of thing staff we will say you turn up at seven please with a uh, nine hours uh, same for you you are uh, we're turning up at seven or rather we we say can you please turn up at seven you have to understand that uh, they don't necessarily do that uh, they we say turn up at seven and that's strange that actually do we need to... Oh, we do, yes, we do need to go that. Yeah, the store's on open for nine hours, but we want them to... We want to hire them for ten, because we pay them for their travel time, apparently, because they can turn up anywhere between an, uh, an hour after when you say turn up. So if you say, right, you start... Start at seven. That's when they apparently they start driving. I'm not a fan of that at all. But, uh, you know, maybe it'll be changed, maybe it won't. Um, for those who are probably asking about the flooring, I have not put it in. You are correct. Shall I do it? Well, once I'm not losing a lot of money, yes, I probably will go ahead and do that. For the moment, nah, not bothering. So... <laughs> uh, you can see the bus is still coming along and stuff. Uh, this is not a bad looking place. I think we are just gonna expand downwards, okay? So we'll expand this downwards, we'll have the, um... Probably, probably we'll have this going along, and then we'll have maybe extra, extra parking, perhaps. I'm not really too sure. I haven't really worked it out that well. Not that you can, because of the way the planning works. And for some reason, there's, why is there nobody moving that? Why is the, why is the rubbish bag just on the floor there? I don't know. I think I know why, though. Let's go over to Manage, Maintenance, one janitor, eight hours. That's the problem. Okay, let's change this. You work at one and you have 15. Oh, look, you can only go to 15 hours, so you definitely cannot have a, um, uh, a system of a one shift system where they all are in at, uh, they're all in for like constantly. It's because we didn't have a janitor there. But now what's happening is, you can see, this is now getting stocked. Excellent. I also want to uh, see... I want to see a bus come in and actually have people uh, get dropped off and such. Which would be quite good. Looks like these are getting parked. We've got some nice items there. Here's a bus. Yes! Someone got off the bus! God, the buses turn so fast. In fact, all of the cars turn so fast. There you go. Look, people are stacking up around the bus stop. That's good. We wanted to do this. Uh, have 100 customers on site. We've just got that. Excellent. And sell 20 different types of products. We've just got that as well. There's a bus look. Yay! Bus is working. Fantastic. Right. So, we've got this getting stocked. It's taking a while for the cashier to do that, but it's not really too much of a problem. In terms of money, we are losing it, but hopefully it's... Oh, it looks like it's, it's edging off, so that's fine. In terms of uh, our objectives, we are still carrying on with that. We will max speed it while they fill this up. Uh, this won't be an accurate representation of how this store performs because of uh, the amount of... Uh, because of the lack of uh, items on the shelves. But they are now starting to fill up, which is fine, although they just missed out on that one. And uh, there's another person going on the bus. Don't know if that bus stop is in the, uh, the right position. I'm not... I think... I think we might go ahead and shift that bus stop. Although it did cost me ten grand to put in, so very, very expensive, um, very expensive thing to place. To be honest with you, but where else could I put it? Is the question. I'm leaning towards, leaning towards maybe deleting this and putting it right in this corner, opposite the deliveries. But it is another ten grand. Which at the moment I can't really afford to waste, so I'm not going to do it. Let's be sensible about this. There's the janitor cleaning up there. There's some rubbish there, and then oh, see all the people turn up. I say people. This is all the staff. Well, the staff are people, or are they? Uh, right. So the stop. Yeah, it looks like they've all turned up. Look at that. They have all turned up right on time. So you know what I'm going to do? I am actually going to go over to uh, our food mart. Start at 8, you work 9 hours, and I'm going to do it for all of these because there's no point in paying them an extra hour. If they're all turning up anywhere, I'd rather just do that. Um, 
although the, the person, the stockist, might, it might be worth those working an extra hour, coming in a little bit early. Because they'll be able to stock the shop if stuff was sold last night, we don't have them stay around. So maybe that's a good idea. I'll do it anyway. So eight, nine hours. Uh, oh no, sorry, that's the person we want to have for all the ten hours. But these ones, there we go, we'll alter the hours a bit. Um, so it's eight and then nine hours, that's fine. There we are. Okay, so a lot of people coming in here, as you can see. This is good. Uh, beep, beep, beep noises and we are selling stuff in terms of money i'm hoping we make some sort of profit today looks like people are finding the items that they want you've got some sort of fish on there you've got canned veg i think that's some sort of cereal you've got milk some more stuff there yeah it's pretty good they do have uh baskets now as well and um i don't know if that's a new addition they've got like a uh, that they've got like a ooh, what the hell's happening there oh there's someone behind them they've got like a bag of groceries as well which is fine. We've just made 2,000 total sales and got a bit of money. I'm assuming that this cash here is total... Is it total? I don't know whether that's a total including the money you get from your objectives. It doesn't look like it is, no, because of the profits here. Um, we'll say the last, uh, I don't know, 14 days. We're, still make, we're not making any money at all. We're still losing money, which is a crying shame. Mm, it's not too bad. Look at that. It's uh, no, it's it's the wages that's doing us in. You know what? We made we made a loss, but not a massive loss. And when you consider how much we're getting from these um, objectives, that's not too bad at all. That isn't too bad at all. I don't think. So missed sales opportunities because the queue's full. Okay, uh, we've got uh, th sell thirty different products. We've. Uh, I guess we've just got that. Yeah, we've just hit 20. And it is sell, not have on site. So, we now need to get probably... Actually, I need to check the statistics on here and our needs. You can see that... Ah, yes, we are fulfilling some of these needs. Look at that. So, we are... Um, assays on display zero. But yet we've satisfied some of these demands. Yesterday's sales one. I don't understand how. <laughs> We've got none on display, but we sold one. Does that mean we've ran out? Maybe. Uh, there's some canned food, and apparently that's not... There's no demand there. You need food. But we are satisfying demand for the secondary meats here. So we might have a butcher's. We might have a butcher's. It's just random how it places it, I think. So we are... Oh, there's also a demand on this as well. Look at that. Ah, right, so tier... Th it looks like the way, it's, the way the tier is done is quite quite clever, actually. The tier for fish, for example, is in order to sell the first one, you just have to have it, right? That's understandable. The second tier, you need to have 50% of whatever category that is. So fish is classed as food, as long as you've got a shop with over 50% of that type of item, that category, so in this case food, you will get the tier 2. To get tier 3, you need 50% of that specific item. <laughs> so in this case, fresh fish. So we can have a fishmongers, you can have a beverage vendor, things like that, which is um, just dandy. Hmm. Today's beverage is dandelion and bird dock. I've been wanting to have that for quite some time, and I finally got hold of myself some um, Fenomans. Dandelion and Burdock in a glass bowl. Not too cheap, but um, on a warm day like it is today, uh, pour that in a glass, and then put a couple of ice cubes in it. Magnifique. Okay, so I think we will go ahead and just check out what have we been researching. We've been researching uh, alcohol license, currently going for clothing supplier. I think we're going to speed up to max speed, and there's nothing much to do yet. We could go around and change some of these... Um, Change some of these things here. You can actually go to a manual margin and alter the margins. Although, I th actually, can you alter the margins anywhere of um, stores? I, th I don't know if there is. Uh, there is. Pro oh, you can check on all the products, but you can't alter the overall amount of money that you're getting, which is uh, interesting. Uh, there's the food mat. Look at that, 17% profit. The big, oh, the micro mat is 20% profit margin. Which is good. This one, same sort of deal. Mm, 
looks like there is peak customers on site quite a bit. Most of them seem to be happy, I think. Real-time customer satisfaction is 60-odd percent. I don't know why. Should we have a quick look? We'll have a quick look at these... Uh, at these... Uh, customers. So there's hunger need, there's no patience need, there's um, a bladder need. We haven't got any toilets, which is a problem. Okay, right. So there is some needs that we do need to have fulfilled. And by the way, yes, I know that this is uh, not right to the edge. Sorry, it's just the way it starts and stuff. Nothing I can do about that one. So yeah, there is some needs. Look at that. Look, that We're still in minuses, but nowhere near previously. So that's good. So we are losing money, but we also are going up in here. So we need to get the clothing store as soon as possible. The question is, where are we going to put it? I think we will have a road work, and I think we'll go... We'll probably build down over. I think down over is the way to go. So we'll build down, and we'll have it so we go along like this. Yes, that's fine. And we will have a customer parking along here. And perhaps the store can go in this side here. Pretty much a clone of that. That size should be more than enough. Clothing store that size. It does, does seem to fit in quite well, so perhaps that is the... Um, the template that we use for the rest of the store, perhaps. I don't know. I'm also interested to know why they decided drilling there. And that is the that is the it is a it is a drill. Uh, no safety glasses on as well. Also, why did they decide to not build the other bit? I really don't know. So it looks like that is in, and then we'll have a road which is how far it is. Um, a total of one, two, three, five road. Five road like that. Which will have customer parking on the front and back. And then we have the star around there. Yep, that seems about right. Okay, so we're gonna leave it there. Um not a bad bit of building and some also selling. Obviously we are still losing money, but it's not a huge issue at the moment, but we do need to start really thinking about um actually probably making some cash. Um but we'll see how it goes. This I might delete. What I might do is get rid of that. And I don't know what the solution will be. See, this road here, not exactly a waste, but we can have, if we got rid of that, we'd be able to have another parking here and here. And then when we come to this one, we'll have it there and there. And we won't, because we're going to have a road going along here as well, but it's sort of a bit of a waste. Uh, you know what? That's not too bad. That's not too bad because it's centralised. I think I'll stick with it for now. Certainly don't want to spend another 10 grand on uh, rearranging it. Either way, not a bad video, I don't think. Not a bad bit of progress. As always, let me know in the comments where you want to go, and we will go from there. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.